Hi everyone, good morning. So here we are uh, driving the new BS6 uh, Gurkha and uh, this is uh, this is courtesy Force Motors first of all to, to give us the opportunity to to take this on an extended drive you know as requested by a lot of our viewers uh, that you wanted to see uh, the highway performance and uh, you know a more detailed review of uh, what this vehicle is all about uh, so here we are on our way to uh, uh, Mahabaleshwar and uh, onwards to Tapola from there on to give you guys a view and a more detailed uh, view of uh, this BS6 Gurkha we've got the uh, grey uh, version and yes it is really nice you know, the overall feel of the cabin the uh, seating position the uh, steering feel and the overall quietness of the cabin it is really really nice you know you you feel good you know the moment you step inside the vehicle yeah it is uh, uh, a lot more sorted now in terms of the cabin a lot more would be uh, a gross understatement i would say it is uh, it is as different as chalk and cheese uh, you know the the overall difference uh, in in everything inside the cabin and what a view you get uh, you know while driving and uh, already uh, wherever you go Whichever roads you are driving on, it is a looker and grabs attention wherever you are. We, uh, we are getting uh, stares and thumbs up from, from uh, everybody. So, uh, yeah, we've just started. We've just started now. It's, uh, it's 9.45. Yep, we just hit the uh, Bangalore Highway. Uh, we have press, just started cruising. You could have, you must have heard the beep. Uh, that was the uh, the speed limiter going off. Uh, so, uh, as with all modern vehicles, the BS6 also has an alarm set at uh, set to trigger at 80 kilometers per hour. Of course, we are looking to cruise at at uh, much much higher speeds uh, than this. And we get the first blocker of the day <laughs> so I'll keep uh, making short videos uh, so that we can all you know we can stitch it all up later on to give you a complete uh, view of uh, what the BS6 Gurkha is all about see you guys then bye bye So uh, we have crossed Bhor, we are on our way to Satara now, uh, after taking a short break, a breakfast break uh, and now, now finally we got a chance to you know really stretch the legs of uh, the Gurkha here. So as you can see we are uh, cruising at uh, 100 right now, at roughly 2000. 300, 2300 or 400 rpm and here's what I have noticed so far like right now in fifth gear I have this vehicle in front of me and there is a drop in power and I get the surge back again as I cross 2200 rpm so definitely the, the turbo is coming into play here and it's a lot more obvious as compared to our Gurkha where this is not felt at all. There would be no drop in power. You can, I mean, you know, any modulation of power is controlled by you, by the accelerator and uh, the turbo hardly plays any part in that. But yeah, but it's minor. I can make out the difference because obviously we are driving the Gurkha for a long time now. 
and uh, the difference is uh, is clear to me uh, but for for a person who's driving the vehicle for the first time this is hardly going to make any difference or probably won't even notice a difference because there won't be any benchmark to base it against uh, but totally enjoying the uh, the smoothness of the engine the cabin noise uh, which is a lot more evident in our uh, in our vehicle is is nil almost nil yeah you can hear the thrum of the uh, engine of course but then that also you know the tires also play a part in that because we are running uh, on all terrain with the tires which is important for for a vehicle of this type uh, you know if if we are you know changing the tires over to a more highway pattern one obviously this is going to quite an up a little bit more but as you can see that uh, weaving in and around highway traffic on on this uh, national highway is not a challenge at all and these undulations in the road pose absolutely uh, uh, no challenge to this vehicle the rest of the gang has fallen behind because everybody else has to slow down not us not us at all and at the same time the kids are really enjoying their time in this vehicle because of the front facing seats uh, they are a lot more comfortable of course uh, in the side facing uh, seats of the gurkha that we have uh, that is a little bit of a little bit of an issue obviously we uh, make a, you know make a little bit of adjustments while driving and okay here we are uh, what's the name of this river can't recollect yeah very very important uh, uh, part especially for the ones heading towards mahabaleshwar or goa the the landscape changes after this and we continue to enjoy our drive see you guys uh, on the next part of this trip uh, where we will focus on the car driving the car driving prowess or uh, capability of this vehicle thank you okay so we are on the ghat and let me tell you that we have left everybody behind so we are almost at the top uh, this is the ghat near satara and yeah as you can see it's quite nimble around the corners i'm driving on third gear right now and here yeah, it's it's it does not feel stressed at all can hold speeds can hold corners and i'm enjoying it Of course, car driving is a skill, uh, and yeah, one definitely needs to be careful while navigating such roads. But put a skilled driver, give him a good car, give him or her a good car, and then you can see the magic. This is awesome. <laughs> So we are okay. You can enjoy the view, and while I enjoy the drive, absolutely effortless, absolutely effortless. Uh, did not ever feel, you know. This is where, you know, the the, the BHP uh, the BHP fight 
there is no end to it but it's not necessary actually you know big numbers uh, do not really uh, matter a lot when it comes to a real world you know practical driving situation it is all about your gear ratio and where is your power bank and uh, you see this 90 bhp can give most vehicles and run for its money because of the way it delivers the uh, power it is linear it is smooth and we are through with the cart and here starts our descent so the corners are very well controlled uh, there's not too much body roll in spite of uh, the, the 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 tallness or you know the height of the overall uh, vehicle it's a ladder on frame of course it's not a sedan it's not a hatch you can't uh, be doing silly speeds on corners because that's really going to uh, you know cause cause uh, a mishap but we are still pretty fast and uh, it has uh, it is not uh, you know a what is mumbling and fumbling for words here now <laughs> so it's it's uh, it's very easy to control it and now we are on the straight patch after the cart weaving through is also fairly easy i'm trying to you know put forth almost all situations and uh, trying to uh, give everybody uh, a practical real world outlook to almost the questions which most people have in their minds which they keep uh, writing in to me you know on on youtube on whatsapp or on calls uh hopefully you know we are able to cover most of it because there's uh, practically nothing that the standard indian highway you know leaves <laughs> you get all situations at one go okay so we are now waiting for the turn to mahabaleshwar which will be coming up shortly next update from there bye bye So now we are in our final leg of the journey uh, around 15 kilometers from Apola which is uh, you know ahead of uh, Mahabaleshwar in the you know around the Koina backwaters so this is the almost forest road it's still tarred but uh, we are going through the wildlife sanctuary here and lovely uh, and dense forest kind of uh, a single lane road but every bit thrilling you know in the in the nights one can expect to chance upon uh, the indian god this be we kind of like a bison one of the largest bovines in the world uh, over here so this kind of forest really works for them and uh, we would see quite a few herds of these magnificent creatures around so the road is broken but the good guy is not and on such trails or roads uh, the good guy is absolutely at peace you would barely feel anything transferring into the cabin okay, more about the place once we reach in the next i think 25 minutes that's what google says so until then bye bye